Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Fifi Kengmo and this is Fifi K Show. I would like you to please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and click the like button and comment for the video that I'm about to talk about. So today I would like to talk about the DAM method. What's the DAM method? D-I-M-E. How do you use that to know what type of life insurance you need? For your to cover your family and to cover yourself d is for debt i is for income m for mortgage e for education so this method it help you calculate what life insurance needs by considering the follow that those following letter the dime debt what are your debt what is your critical debt? What kind of debt, you know, in general do you owe? So on the credit card, insurance bill, any type of debt you have, you have to put that in that category on D. D as debt. How can you solve that problem? How do you accumulate it? How can you pay it off when you're no longer there? You should know that it doesn't matter what happened to you. If you die, you still have debt, those debt need to be paid. You don't think that you're free from that. That's why you, it's important to have a coverage that can cover those kind of stuff when you're no longer here. So the income, what they did, like the financial aspect, like the income is like it should be calculated by five. Like if you earn, for example, $50,000 a year, you need to calculate that by five to know what coverage you need. So it should be like around $250,000 insurance that you may need to cover that your lost income. What about the mortgage? Your mortgage, like the understanding remaining balance on your mortgage, what is it like? For example, you have, you may have like $300,000 a mortgage maybe the balance now remaining is two hundred thousand dollars so what do you need to do if something ever happened to you and those items your family still need to have a roof under them what do they need to do to cover those you know that loss that's how we, we calculate those and e for education so the education may be Maybe it's, it, it doesn't need to be you. It can be your child that need college, uh, you know, college funding, or it can be that you still have your uh, student loan remaining. So what do you need to do to have those things cover? That's how you come back with this dime method, D-I-M-E, death, income, and mortgage and education. So when you add those items, you add your debt, you multiply by the number of years you want to replace your income. You subtract an existing life insurance coverage, saving or access that could help you. So maybe you may have some kind of in, uh, income or retirement account that if anything happened, like what happened, you see that that income that you have put in the side can cover your substrate all that so the expert have come back with that kind of example like just say i'm using this example like if you your debt is twenty thousand dollar and your income is fifty thousand dollar a year that means you need two hundred fifty thousand dollar coverage but now if you have a mortgage that is one hundred and fifty thousand dollar remaining balance you add that up, that so I means you need a coverage, for example, of $470,000 to pay, to cover all those items if something ever happened to you. This is how you can, what you can do to, to make sure you are the only breadwinner or make sure that anything can happen that nobody should be on the street or whoever you are taking care of, they still need to be taken care of when you're no longer here. This is what you need to use this method. So this is how we hear that we're trying to educate many families as we can. I mean, life insurance agent work with financial, world financial group. We're trying to educate more family that 
whatever is happening in your life, you need to have that foundation, total protection. You need that total protection foundation. You need to pay off your debt. You need to start now saving, have emergency fund. You need to now start investing. You don't start from the top down. You start from the bottom up. That means total protection, debt management, uh, uh, emergency fund, and investment. So we trunk, you need to try and kind of this, this method to make sure you have the right financial path. You cannot be working for an hour a week and be broke. You have to know how to live below your mean. You have to know how to save for emergency. It doesn't mean you need to save a three months in one day. You have to start. This moment that it click in your brain that you need this kind of saving, you cannot be used, living paycheck to paycheck. You're waiting for the next paycheck. You already spend the next paycheck before it arrives. You have overdraft on your account. That's not acceptable. So what you need to do is set up a little one step at a time small goal one step at a time small small goal don't do big goal you do one month by one month i will save hundred dollar by two months i will save three hundred dollar by three months i will save four hundred dollar and you see that you 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 stay in that space you keeping your you know your promise you're keeping your goal and that at the end of the year, you say, oh, at least now I have one month save of my emergency fund. That's something to celebrate. That's something to give yourself a hope. Oh, I did this so I can continue. What if now I'm still saving $100 and I start saving 120 What is going to do to me? And what do you do? You cut off some of the expenses you were doing. You don't order food. The food you order to to eat in one meal, it can cook for one week. The money that you use, it can cook for one week where you're struggling. You don't be struggling, we don't order food. We cook so we can save. So that's how you can do to make sure you have protection for you, you have protection for your family, and you have protection for the, the, everybody that you love. And you have in financial freedom. You don't have stress. When you know one bill needs to be paid and you have the money to pay that bill, you don't stress. You don't have headache. And there's something we need to learn. You have to learn to do something that we haven't done before. You don't stick on one, one brain. I've done this job for what, how many years? Do something different. Do a side hustle. I emphasize side hustle. Do your main job. Do some kind of side hustle. It's a lot of time. You can do Amazon delivery. You can do Instacart. You can do anything. If you have a car, you have a food on your table. Do not procrastinate anything you want to do. When you're trying to do something, trying to do it right away, do not say tomorrow, tomorrow. You have to start today. Today, now, after you watch this video and you haven't done something for yourself, start it now. Start it today. You cannot be doing some the same thing forever and ever. You have to click change what is not working on you. You cannot say, oh, I'm, lo I'm not lucky. I wasn't born in the silver spoon. Everybody are born the same way. It's how you use your knowledge. It has you use your life that change your life. You cannot be compare yourself to people, but you're not doing anything to yourself. And you don't want to live the life that... It doesn't belong to you. You don't have to be pretending to be somebody when you are not. You have to live what you are. You have to live who you are. Don't compare yourself to rich people when you are not rich, but you can be rich when you put your mind to it. So this is how we can have financial freedom. You cannot live with overdraft. You cannot use overdraft account as our emergency fund. It's a no-no. It's a no-no. How can somebody say new, newly know that you don't have a, a, a money in your account? You go swap the card. And the bank pay the bill, charge you $35. This is terrible. This is not acceptable. So let's change our mind. Let's share this video to all the people in the community. Let them listen. Let them click something in their mind. Let them try to understand the power of financial freedom, the power of 
be financial free the power to have your own thing to do to have your to own a business the power to be protected the power that you have when you know the happiness that you have when you know if i go out there a drone driver hit me i know my child will not be suffering i know my my family nobody will be suffering because I set up thing for them. I set up thing for them to get a protection. I set up thing for them to have whatever they need to be, you know, to be protected. This is what this video is about. And I will lie when you share this video, you comment, you subscribe, and that I will be able to see, come here and share my knowledge with you, share what I have learned with you. I educate you as you go. Please. Share this video and that I love you all.